I welcome everyone to our YouTube channel AU Grey Organics. Now most of our channel subscribers are doing choice filling for ICR UG and PG counseling. Here Gayatri is with us. She is from Kerala but she did her UG in Karnataka and now she is doing her PG in University of Agricultural Sciences Darwad through ICR counseling. So she will be sharing her experience with you so that you can utilize for your choice filling and for your future betterment also. Uh, I am Gayatri from Kerala. Uh, I am currently pursuing my Masters in Agronomy in University of Agricultural Sciences, Darwad. I did my UG in College of Agriculture, Hassan under U.S. Bangalore. You did your UG in, UG in U.S. Bangalore through ICER counselling. So that means you have focused on ICER counselling before 5 years only. Uh, I, my UG started in 2019. Actually, I did a one year drop for okay. it. So uh, along with that I prepared for ICR UG also because that preparation was uh, more enough and I got the seat uh, through the counselling and uh, my first preference was uh, U.S. Bangalore itself and I was allotted to that only. Okay. How you came to know about the ICR counselling? Because uh, during that time the knowledge of ICR counselling and ICR entrance examination is very less. So how you came to know about ICR? Actually, it was, uh, even I was unaware of uh, the ICR exam. Uh, one of my cousin sister is an agri graduate. Uh, she also got her seat through the ICR examination. So uh, she used to tell me her experience in the agri college uh, she did in Kerala. Uh, so based on her experience and based on her stories, I found it interesting, this particular course. And I did much research on the examination and the, as well as the other universities. and. Uh, I thought of joining uh, agriculture through ICR counseling and I preferred over I preferred ICR over uh, state entrance. Okay, as compared to NEET, how was the toughness of uh, ICR entrance examination? Compared to NEET, actually it was uh, easy uh, ICR UG examination because that preparation, the preparation you will be doing for the NEET itself is uh, uh, very enough for uh, the ICR exam. Was easy actually. You are from Kerala, but you choose in Karnataka during your UG only. Why you did that one? This will be useful for most of our channel subscribers. So, can you please tell? Actually, I uh, always wanted to do my higher education outside the state because uh, uh, also in case of ICR, I came to know about the NDA scholarship as well. So, uh, I found it interesting. And uh, one more thing is that. Uh, uh, not specifically Karnataka, if you do your higher education outside your state, uh, personally I believe that you will be out of your comfort zone because literally you have to do everything on your own and uh, there will be no one to help you. Like help in the sense, uh, obviously we, uh, everyone will be there but still you will be away from your family and emotionally and mentally you will be more uh, strong uh, if you come out of your comfort zone. And I can say another advantage is that your language proficiency will improve because uh, after staying here for four years, I am uh, well fluent in English as well as in Canada because uh, we uh, also had a course in first year regarding Canada and it was really helpful for me as well and my classmates and professors have also helped me in that. And uh, we have a Ravi program in fourth year. Uh, that is three months you have to stay in a village uh, in Karnataka in near, near to your college. And at that time, my Kannada became fluent and it is actually of immense help during my PG time also because I am currently pursuing PG in Karnataka also. So, uh, I would say that it is always uh, an advantage to study outside, uh, especially your higher education because uh, it is also uh, helpful in your personality development as well, overall uh, as a person. What were the barriers for you during your UG? When in first year, it was actually uh, really very challenging because, uh, you know, I'm coming from Kerala and uh, uh, here in uh, Karnataka, the culture was entirely different. Uh, so it was quite difficult for me in first year uh, that I admit. But the thing is that I got a very good batch and classmates and professors as well. So they were so supportive that uh, I didn't face much difficulties. But uh, regarding the language, you will be okay with it in four years because four years of uh, staying in, uh, uh, in Karnataka was enough for me to be fluent in Kannada. And another thing was food. Uh, food Actually, it was a problem in first year, but you will get adjusted to it uh, during the coming years. Okay, whether your parents are satisfied with your journey? Yes. Uh, they were actually happy because I always wanted to, in 11th standard only, I was kind of, uh, I set my mentality to be in this agriculture field 
and that to in us bangalore itself uh, i don't know why though but i found interesting that us bangalore i found interesting and uh, i thought of joining there and i got it so they were very happy because i achieved my goal and they are also satisfied with my current uh, uh, progress in my uh, career okay what was the fellowship amount you received during your ug it was 3000 per month uh, actually you will get the amount uh, once you join the course you will get the amount after 6 months only in case of first year and uh, based on your cgp it will be provided that is uh, you should gain a cgp of 7 overall cgp of that particular stem 7 should be there for general category and it uh, varies for obc and scst as well so if you get that much uh, cgp you will be provided with a scholarship and usually it come uh, in uh, as a sum of 6 months or 3 uh, months uh, in each month you won't get but definitely it will be you did ug from karnataka only then why again you chosen for msc also in karnataka actually i uh, when i inquired uh, about msc agronomy uh, to my seniors they have suggested suggested us darwat so i thought of giving it as my first option itself because uh, i've already did ug in uh, karnataka only so it will be an advantage for me as well because i i'm more aware of the system here and language barrier also won't be there so i joined us darwat you may have joined here before 10 months so in this 10 months what are the experience you had in us karma so please share with us because that will also be useful to some of our channel subscribers uh in us there word as my senior suggested the department is very good in case of agronomy because academically we will be more strong that i can assure you and uh, also we know that ug life is completely i mean entirely different from pg life so as my senior suggested i joined us darwad and uh, i can assure you that uh, the department here uh, especially in case of agronomy it is very good here both academically and uh, theoretically and uh, practically also and uh, also i have gained much knowledge practically after coming here can you give any suggestions for your juniors to those who are willing to pursue ug in icr or even pg through icr uh first thing i would like to say to all my juniors is that if you are really interested in agriculture you can definitely join uh, this degree because uh, uh, why i said it because in agriculture course bsc honors agriculture not only you are dealing with science but you will have to uh, study economics that is social sciences as well it is actually a wide a uh, huge wide variety of subjects are waiting for you in bsc honors agriculture so it can be troublesome for you if there is uh, no interest so if you are really interested in that uh, particular i mean agriculture you can definitely join and uh, also you'll be getting a scholarship amount because that can help you uh, financially also and uh, also while choice filling be uh, do a particular uh, uh, vast research on the universities that you wish to join ask your seniors take the opinion and finally it is who you have to join and who you have to uh, who you have to take the course so do a uh, wide research before joining that's what i will say okay gayatri thank you for sharing your experience with us so this video will be very useful and enlightenment to some of the some of our subscribers those who are going to do choice filling especially for icr ug they have given one or two days only time for their choice preference So yesterday I have seen on command uh, from Kerala. So immediately I thought of you. So I hope this video will be very useful to all of our channel subscribers. Thank you, Gayatri.